Hello everyone, this is the daily devotional video for January 6th, 2017. Our passage for today is in Psalms chapter 27, verses 7 through 14. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not leave me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. When my mother and my father, sorry, I read that wrong. When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a smooth path because of my enemies. Do not deliver me to the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have, have, have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Title for today's devotional is Refusing to Wait on God. It's always best to follow God's timing. But if we run ahead of God or lag behind Him, that decision will often be costly. Self-sufficiency moves us outside of the Lord's will. The right thing done at the wrong time may leave us vulnerable to Satan's schemes and can delay or even derail blessings God has planned for us. Acting on our own timetable can also bring confusion to us and others as situations are likely to turn out differently from how we envision them. Then we may be facing not only unanticipated results but also problems. By refusing to wait on God, we often cause ourselves unnecessary grief. For example, if we use credit cards to purchase unneeded clothes, electronic devices, and other indulgences, debt could pile up beyond our ability to pay. Then our credit rating would plummet with little financial relief in sight. But when we manage money in accordance with biblical principles, our lifestyle will be less lavish, but we'll have freedom and peace of mind. And here's another example. Quitting a job before the Lord has released us from it can short-circuit what he planned to teach us through it. We might subsequently discover that, that had we held on a while longer, God might have changed either our circumstances or our attitude about the situation. Certain character qualities are necessary if we are to develop a lifestyle of waiting on the Lord. We need patience to endure our present situation steadfastness to carry out current responsibilities, and courage to trust the Lord as we await His solution in the midst of our discomfort. How good are you at waiting? I think that you know, I, I had a job many years ago where it was just so much stress on me. It was all on my shoulders. The person that was my boss wasn't really helpful at all. 
Um, they would get easily annoyed, easily irritated, they would kind of go off on me, and I remember waking up just dreading going to work. Dreading, dreading. And, you know, it was to the point where it's just, it was just distress was enough where I was going to have a heart attack, you know. And so I, 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 I can say that I understand the temptation to want to leave a difficult situation. Or I definitely understand the temptation to want to go buy things, you know. <laughs> Change the credit card out and go buy myself a new laptop and, you know, a tablet, and, you know. And the temptations are there. But God has always got something better planned for you than you could ever dream of for yourself. And he knows what he's doing. He, you, you can only see what's in front of you. He sees the big picture. He sees the entire canvas. We're just seeing one, one little bit of it. And I'm telling you guys, if you trust in him and you hope in him and you, you wait on him, it will always end positively. And, and so much better than it would have if you just try to do things your own way and your own strength and your own timeline. Wait on the Lord and it will always... I'm not saying it erases all the problems, but I'm saying that it will be a lot easier for you. Because God loves you so much. And so do I. I'm going to go ahead and go. Hope you guys are having a good day today. It's almost the weekend. Hope you guys are doing good. I love you all so much, and I'll see you again tomorrow.